Antoinette, a source close to TikTok CEO says he will be in Washington, D.C. by the end of the week, and the CEO went on his own platform overnight to share his thoughts about a possible U.S. ban. We will not stop fighting and advocating for you. We will continue to do all we can, including exercising our legal rights to protect this amazing platform that we have built with you. The House overwhelmingly passed the bill yesterday. It gives TikTok's Chinese owners ByteDance about six months to sell the app to a U.S. company or be banned. National security is at the core of this debate. The FBI says TikTok poses a major threat, saying the Chinese government could be using the personal data from users. TikTok denies those claims. This is not an attempt to ban TikTok. It's an attempt to make TikTok better. Tic-tac-toe, a winner. My whole business would be devastated. Yeah, I would lose the opportunity to connect with millions of people on a regular basis, and the community that I've worked really hard to build would be gone. The proposal now heads to the Senate. President Biden has indicated he would sign it, but for now, the app's 170 million U.S. users can still log on. Antoinette. All right, we'll see what happens, Matt. Thank you.